Gentlemen, Troy G. Ward. Troy, you get the monkey off the back, uh, the first uh, win post-Christmas. Uh, your thoughts on uh, the first game back? Mm, I thought it kind of panned out the way I thought it would start, at least. I thought they would have a better push than us, and they did. Uh, they played the other night at, uh, I believe, at home against San Antonio. So I thought they had their game legs a little bit. Um, so I think they had like 14 shots in the first. I thought that was fair. I thought they deserved it. I thought we were a bit slow out of the gates. Um, I thought one of the biggest things that helped us was that we didn't take a penalty in the second till 242 left in the second. And I thought we managed a better five on five game as, a, as that period went along. And I thought that helped us get our, ourself underneath us. Even though we had traded some goals in the second period off of face offs, we scored a goal on the face off, they scored a goal on the face off. Like pretty typical, like after Christmas, guys aren't totally wired back into this thing. So I thought it was. Uh, you know, did I think it was going to work out for a win? You know, th that you don't know. But I thought the way the game was managed, I thought typically we saw a lot of mental errors. It's the first game after Christmas. Uh, in a game full of mental errors, I guess you're pretty happy. 42 saves from your goaltender. Yeah, and these are types of games where you, you have to get good goaltending. Um, you just need it. And I thought, uh, I thought he started slow, though. Like, I thought he really started slow. I didn't really care for him. He didn't manage the puck well behind the net in the first period. I thought they got a lot of momentum um, right off the, the bat, and that had a lot to do with just how we mismanaged the puck, and I thought he was one of the biggest culprits of that. Um, but I thought in the second period he settled in. And then, I, you know, one of the things that's interesting about the game at this level, like there were a lot of trade-off of two-on-ones, which means there's a lot of mental errors going on. And then, you know, it was kind of like which team is going to score the two-on-one goal, and we happened to get a crucial goal on a two-on-one goal. And uh, we said after the second as a group, like, you know, might be the last shot type game. And uh, it wasn't that way, but it was close. Heat's career scoring leader tonight. Uh, it's not a huge number, but uh, just curious as to your thoughts on uh, that milestone. Well, I think that's great. I mean, any time that you can do that, and he's been a big part of this organization since he got here, and I think that's awesome. Like, good for him. It shows a mark of consistency. You know, you're also a league scorer in a franchise that hasn't scored a lot of goals since its time in Abbotsford. Like, and I don't mean that in a bad way towards the guy. I mean, it's a mark of consistency for John. Um, I think John is a, a guy who takes care of himself both mentally and physically, so he gives him a, a chance. He gives himself a chance to do that. Like, so good for him. I, I mean, I'm really proud of him, you know. And, and he's I'm sure he's very thankful. He's the type of guy that's thankful to his line mates. And you know, Klanos must be too. Then in the, the race of scoring here, I don't know. Like, he seems to get a lot of points already. So, but good for John. I'm happy for him. Your top line that seemed to have a lot of jump, uh, what can you, row included. What can you say about their play today? Well, I thought that, um, you know, that line kind of got disbanded for a while there a little bit, and they kind of lost their mojo. And then John came back off of the uh, break there and really felt good and, and had his legs. And, you know, you know when you're around John every day if he has his legs. And he felt really good, and I thought he was the difference maker in that line. I don't mean to slight what Klonos does here or what Ben Walter does here, but I think Rose speed makes that line go at times. Like he pushes the pace there, and I thought that made a big difference. So um, I was happy for that line, but I thought John brought back some magic and some speed that that line needed right now. So I thought it was good. It was a Kelly's first game in Abbotsford, and he got a goal. What do you think he's going to bring to the table for Abbotsford? Well, I thought Akeem, um, you know, he hasn't played a lot of hockey lately, so we tried to manage his shifts. I didn't give him a lot down the third period there, and unfortunately, you know, a couple of different times he got his own rest by taking a couple of penalties, which I wasn't excited about during the game as far as being a coach. But what is he going to bring our team? Uh, he brings our team a little bit of size. He's quick. He does have good skill. Um, he's going to have to play a role here he's never embraced before, and that's he's going to have to learn to be a checker for me first. Um, if he can learn to check and play smart and uh, play with some discipline, then I think he'll be a big part of our team. Like, there's an asset there. It's a high draft pick that has some speed and some size. Um, but to make an impact in this game, when you look at, like, a Des BN, like, at some point in time, Des had to learn to be a checker before he can be a scorer. And, and, and I look at the same for Akeem. Like, he's going to have to learn to play that role for us. So I put him with Langer, our captain. I thought he did a nice job at managing his ice tonight in his first game. Troy, what did you think of uh, Judd Blackwater? Oh, another good question. I, I like Judd. Uh, I had no problems with Judd. I thought, um, 
you know, it's his first call up. Obviously, he's like third in the East Coast League in scoring. He's done some really good things in Vegas. So I think we're fortunate to have him. Um, I thought he played a good game. I thought he made skill plays. I thought I, I, he seems to be a rhythm guy. Like, if I look at him and I'm a, I'm a former East Coast League coach, like, he's the type of guy you've got to keep in rhythm all the time. The way the game worked out for him tonight in his first game here, we didn't have a lot of rhythm. Like, if he's going one every three shifts, like, I see this guy's skill going to another level, and he plays a kind of a skilled game, but he's got a little jam to him. Um, so, I, you know, I think he needs rhythm here to be successful. I think he's playing with the right guys here. Like, he has to play with some skilled guys um, in order to be an effective player. But I did, I will say this, like, his character shined through when it was time to block a shot. That kid went right down and blocked it, like... That says a lot about a young man right there. That's good. Good. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.